please tell me how much I should spend on cheese. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now usually when we do the type of episode that we're gonna do today, our naked foods format. Naked. Um, I tend to gravitate towards the, you know, the fancy stuff. Yeah, you do. You tend to gravitate towards the almost free stuff. Mr. Frugal. Uh, but here's the thing, cheese doesn't strike me as something that has to be fancy in order to be good, so maybe the tables are gonna be turned today. The only thing I'm thinking about today is Christy absolutely loves cheese, so whatever we discover, I'm gonna be putting some of that best cheese in my pocket, bringing it home to her because I love her. A little cheese pocket. I can lure her places with cheese crumbles. That, like a mouse, that's sweet. It's time for Naked Foods, Naked Cheese Edition, Naked. We're about to try four different cheese forward dishes from places at four different price points. That's the freezer or refrigerator section of the grocery store, fast casual restaurant, sit down restaurant, and fine dining restaurant, or basically wherever you can get the most expensive cheeses. Yes, and every round we're gonna pick our favorite from the lineup, Stevie's gonna tell us where everything is from, how much it costs, and then at the end, we're gonna know exactly how much our ideal cheese meal would cost. Uh-huh. These are Philly cheesesteaks. They sure are. Yes. Now I love a good Philly, oh, oh no, no, I gave. Sorry. Well, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> That's good. I mean, it's very good. What kind of cheese is on this, provolone? Usually provolone. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And again, it doesn't have to be, I mean, an expensive cheesesteak. I'm actually feeling kinda like. Kind of feels like it goes against the Definitely with cheesesteak, yeah. It's like you kind of, you want to walk up to a place, not sit down. That bread is softer. And there's so much stuff in it. Twice as much as that one. This is more like steakum, which I actually like in a cheesesteak. This is like fresher, got mushrooms. That's a, This is a better taste. Yeah, let's take so, a look down in here. you get on, in a grocery store. This one's simple, there's no mushrooms, no peppers, no onions even. I'm gonna try to get to the goodness. It doesn't taste bad. I mean, it's nothing to write it home about. It tastes good. I never find myself craving a Philly cheesesteak, but then when I get one at the right place, I'm so happy. Well, all that I, I don't know why I don't crave them. So far. This one looks a little sad. And I, I actually can't tell if this like sheet of meat is like more expensive or like bottom of the barrel, but it's more of a cheddar cheese. It's almost an American cheese. Yeah, American. I think this might be my least favorite one. Mm-hmm. But, man. <clears throat> this one's not good. This one right here, that's nice. We going back in? Are you just going back in because you're hungry? Mm-hmm. Are you trying to figure something out? Because this is all for a purpose. <laughs> uh, I, have a, I have a reason. Yeah, because this first one. That I'm gonna, I might, might I'll be throwing you for a little loop here. Okay, pick your favorites right. in three, two, one. I actually like this Definitely one better. Definitely this one, which I'm gonna eat. You know why of. I don't like this one as much, Link? Well, it's probably the fanciest one, but the cheese is not there to please, in the way that this one has more cheese on it. Hmm. So, Rhett, you've chosen our fast casual place, Charlie's, for nine ninety nine, which is a proper cheesesteak place. Pro it's, it's proper. On, it's on the it's on the sign. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say what side of town it was on, but oh, you, no. it sounded like it's on the side. But in, it's anyway, a it's on this place. side of town. And Link, you uh, have chosen our fine dining option, which usually really? means uh, it's it's fancy dance pants dance time. But not this time. Yeah. There's not gonna be any fancy yeah, pants. Yeah, because y'all ran Michelle no off. Michelle. Moo. Michelle is back. Let's do it. I'm so glad you're back, Michelle. You are so great. All right, hold on. Stop, stop, stop the music. Something is uh, not right here. No. Chase. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, what are you doing, man? Well, you guys, Michelle left last time, yeah. and she hasn't come back, so I kind of just threw this together, thinking I could 
step in, fill a void, dance with you guys. Um, I know I can't be Michelle, but I feel like I can get pretty close. I appreciate that. You see what you've done? Now you get your way. Chase is now Mooshell. How does that make you feel? It's not, not, it's not the same. Yeah, I Thank mean, you, Chase. I can't even watch. Thank you, Chase. You're welcome. So our fine dining choice was Figueroa Philly for $16. Then you have our casual sit-down place, Philly's Best, for twelve fifty, and finally the one that you both hated was our frozen slash grocery option from Walmart for four forty-seven. All right. These are calzones, and boy, are they different! I mean, what the heck? This one has a almost donut-like quality to it. It. Is this because it was made on like a manufacturing line? I like that little pepperoni swirl though. I mean, that's a that's a stack of pepperoni. It doesn't taste bad. No, it's good. Now, how, what does this one look like inside? So cheesy. I mean, Nothing but, there's like ricotta and mozzarella in there. Looks like it was fired in a pizza oven. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can't mm. do that at the grocery store. Or can you? That's tasty. I'm not as huge of a fan of ricotta to be that ricotta forward. Like, yeah. I like it, but I want more mozzarella in there. If I ordered a cheese calzone and that's what I got, I do think I'd be disappointed. Now this one seems super classic. This feels like not too fancy. Is there any meats in there? This smells like uh, Sbarro. No meat in this one. Lots of sauce. We didn't mention zero sauce in that one. Actually, zero sauce in the well, first. This is pretty no. classic, man. The sauce kind of went away. I don't know why there's no meat in this. I would love some sausage, but this is a cheese episode. I'll tell you, cheese, sauce, and bread are all delivering on that one. Yep. And then this one got a, oh, we're back into just cheese I think and they ricotta. just ordered a cheese calzone. And then some places put pepperoni in it. So you gotta really think about. And some, peop some places don't put sauce, like this one and that one. You gotta think about what? What you're ordering? Yeah. I'm judging the bread and the cheese. I think this one's better than that one. What do you think? Because mm -hmm. they're so close. That's because there's more mozzarella and there's more ricotta over here. Hmm. This is tough. I'm clearly not voting for this anymore, but I'm it's not back bad. Because it, it tasted good the first time. Yeah, but it doesn't hold up. Okay. Something about this bread. Three, two, one. Gotta go right here. We agree! Okay, you both picked our fast casual place, which is numero uno for five ninety five. Okay. So, so when you said Sabaro, uh, you were pretty close. Yeah. Numero uno, okay. The first one is our frozen grocery from Walmart for $3. It's not really a cow's own. I mean, you know, it's more like a piece of, it's just, it's too donut-like. It's like a bun, a stuffed bun. Yeah. Then we have our fine dining place, DeSano Pizza Bakery for $16. And finally, our casual sit-down Amici Pizza Kitchen for $9.99. Oh, Amici, Amici. I, I, I've been to, I really like Amici uh, Pizza Kitchen. They have great pizza. But we agree, and I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling really good. You know? This is French onion soup. Woo! I love this. Got to be top five best foods that I could, it could possibly eat. This is part of your last meal. It was. I had it on my last meals on Mythical Kitchen. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah. You got day old bread. Is it? Is that what it is? Day old bread. Yeah, day old bread. Yeah. If you haven't, onions. if you haven't watched the last meals um, sub series on the Mythical Kitchen channel, boy, are you missing out. Not only do you find out what people's favorite foods are, like Rhett's here, but the convo gets deep. Mm. How is that? It's very good. I mean, I honestly haven't had a bad French onion soup. I mean. You might, when we get down here. <clears throat> that one looks scary. This one has got a super cheese disc. And is there, is there not bread underneath Sometimes it? they don't do a full piece of bread, but no, there's bread, see? It's right there under the, the disc. The bread under that one tasted burnt. Is that 
by design, you think? Uh, I think it is a little burnt, and I think it would be better if it wasn't, and I think it was accidental. Okay, here I go. Now that one's got a sour taste to it. I wouldn't call that sour. What What would you call it? Because I, I called it the best I could. It's just this taste of onion soup. It's super yeah. tangy. It just has. I mean, there might be some like a little bit of a vinegar profile but the, to it, but but the but the first one here is a lot darker. It tastes totally different. This is almost too strong. And then over here, this one looks to have um, uh, crouton, like cut up pieces of bread. That's one way that people do it. I don't. I don't really have, it? have a preference. One time. I went out to dinner at this place and they raved about their French onion soup, but I was kind of mad at you, and so I didn't want to order it. You weren't there. You were mad at me for no reason? Oh, no, there was a reason. Well, I can safely say I've never, I've been mad at you a, a lot, but I've never not ordered food because of you. And then I realized, you know what? Just because Rhett loves French onion soup and I'm mad at Rhett right now doesn't mean I can't order it. Like, he doesn't own French onion soup. It's like the time you decided to not like music because you were mad at your stepsister. Yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of years there where I didn't listen to music because she was so into it. <laughs> I, got the, I got the French onion soup, but the whole time I was oh, just shoot. thinking about how mad I was at you. Look what I've done. Ha! See, that's karma. I'm that's what you get for what coming, you did that made me mad at you. Coming back to that. This How's right that here. third soup? Uh, I I'm, think it, I, I'm, I'm kind of, of confused, honestly, because they're all good in different ways. I think the third one, I don't know. I can't tell you. It's not good. It's a bit scary. The fourth one's not great. This one right here is gravyish. Coming back in. Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. I know this isn't the fanciest. I bet yours is. Uh, I'm, but I'm, I'm imagining this as slightly a little less toasty on the bread, and I know that it would be great. Yeah. Yep. So, Link, you've actually chosen our frozen slash grocery, but it it is Trader Joe's. So I feel like bad. that's redeeming. It's, it's really good. It it's may be my second favorite. Honestly, it, it's not acidic. It's like a sweet onion, and I really liked that about it. And Rhett, yes, you did choose our fine dining option, which means you get to dance with Chase now, I guess? I mean, I... This is Chase, in a Mushel costume. You're, no, you're like, yeah, you're, yeah, just, 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 let me lead, okay? And then sometimes you, then you do like this, and then you do this, and then, no, 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 just, like, just, you do like this. Chase. Ah, it's just not the same. It's just not the not same. Not Mushel. Okay, that is okay. not Mushel. It's not the same. I mean, I believe in you, Chase. You'll get it, but, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> I'd keep the moves to a minimum. So the fine dining option is from Petit Trois for $25. That's an expensive French onion soup. Then the next one is our casual sit down from Outback for $8.49. And finally, the one that you hated is our fast casual option from Panera yeah, for $7.89. I was going to say that's probably from Panera. Panera, gosh. We want to invite you to head over to sport.com. We have published a Thanksgiving sides guide because the team over there has taste sides tested guys. everything you need for an easy Thanksgiving dinner if you're into that. Best canned cranberry sauce, best box stuffing, best instant mashed potatoes. Go to sport.com, ultimate guide to Thanksgiving sides. Mm. These are cannolis. These are cannolis. Yes. They're all different sizes. That's a little cannoli. Grab a big cannoli full of stuff. Here's a big cannoli with less stuff in it. And here's a medium sized cannoli. What is this, what is this Mr. Cannoli? I'm Mr. Cannoli. I like a cannoli. What it, What is a cannoli? It's a rolled something. <laughs> with some, with cre cream in it. It's like, it looks like chocolate chip cookie dough in there. So I'm always a little disappointed when it's not actually cookie dough. But then I I taste it and I'm not disappointed anymore. Well, what kind of cheese is that inside of a cup? That's good. Cannoli? That's good. Anybody know? They're going to the they're going to their phones. <laughs> All right. Marscapone. Now this one has got a lot oh, a more. lot of chocolate right there on that. Oh, but hold on. But look, look. Can you see in there? I can see that there's there's no see, cream you, on the inside. If you break this open, they kept it hollow and they thought they fooled us. I mean. 
Look, this place is not filling their whole cannoli. Look at that. When you go to the middle. They're not filling the middle of the cannoli. Look at that. There's nothing in there, Can guys. you believe that? I can totally see it on mine. Look at that, they they didn't, they've been exposed. So I don't know who this is, but y'all gonna be about to be called out. Look at that, it's just, <laughs> it's just two dollops. Y'all ain't putting the cannoli, I mean, I don't know. If this is like just, a, you know, one employee that's not doing it, right? But what they did is good. What they didn't do is bad. I thought that one was great until I tasted that one. Like the, the actual, cheese on this is better. Mm-hmm. Now this one, how full is it? Oh, this one feels full, boy. You want me to crack it? You can't even crack it because it's got cheese all the way through. I mean, because they, they, they squirt it in from each end, but it yeah. did meet. It meets. So they met. This is something on Great British Bake Off they would test. Your, your cheese squirts do not meet. Cheese squirts. If you have the cheese squirts, don't call me. <laughs> I'm not gonna help you. Your cheese squirt needs to meet my cheese squirt. Um, Come in from either side. There's not enough chocolate on this. It's like digging the, the, the English Channel. They did that from both sides, didn't they? They just prayed they would meet in the middle? That's a good one. This one's better quality. There's not enough chocolate, that's the only thing I don't like about it, so I don't really know how to judge it because it's really about the cheese. This sad little thing. Hmm. See, I'm gonna have to break this, this is, one too. It's, you won't, it's not even crispy. Mine's very soft. They, it does meet, but only barely. That's got frozen written all over it. This one's like a wet cheese. Are we gonna hold it against them that they didn't meet in the middle? Are we gonna imagine if it did meet in the middle? I know which one tastes the best. Yeah. Three, two, one. Even though, yeah, it tastes. It didn't it meet in the middle. We can, it, it the, the quality is so much better. Y'all skipping on that cream though. You've chosen our fast casual place, Joe's Pizza, for three fifty. Joe's Pizza. Joe. Are you saying that because you know Joe, or? I just didn't think that he would have such a good quality cannoli. Yeah, it's really good. <clears throat> It'd be better if it met in the middle. Yeah, gotta, gotta meet the squirts. The first plate is ca our casual sit down, Buca de Beppo for 5.33 I've been I will hate on a buco, but they came through, that's decent. It's not as good as these two though. What's, what, what's that's this moist one? That's our fine dining option, Dantana's for $12. Oh, Dantana, they got a great chicken parm. And then finally, our frozen grocery from Walmart for 80 cents. All right, well, there you go. Um, so there you have it. What have we determined? You so know? after all that cheese eating, the lowest possible price of every item combined was thirteen dollars and twenty six cents. Okay, that's a and steal. the highest possible of all the the fine dining. You know what I'm saying? Yep, is sixty nine dollars. Nice. Uh, so Rhett, your perfect cheese meal total was forty four forty four. And Link, yours was thirty forty four. We're like kind of right there in, in the, the middle, 30s but a the little 40s. bit on the high side. So what we've determined is that, you know, you should be paying for it. And you and you're not going to get the same experience at the grocery store for any of these dishes, unless Trader Joe's in that French onion soup, and that's okay. that's the hip pocket. Yeah, right take, there. Take that home with you. Chase, thanks for stepping up. I don't want any of the critique yeah. that we gave to you. Uh, like, it's not towards you. It's just. I gotta, yeah, I'm working on know, it. Big hooks to fill. I'm not as big of a dancer as her. Right. But yeah, yeah. we'll get it. Just just keep just keep working it, man. Thank you. There you go. That, that was, oh, that was a good exit. That was oh, a little and too much there at the end. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm Liz, we're from Binghamton, New York. And we're about to do a vegan mac and cheese taste test. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. That looks like a mythical time. Beautiful couple, or siblings, or whatever you are. <laughs> are they married? <laughs> they didn't specify, but I assume they were a couple. I think you are. Click the top link to watch us guess the most popular cheese in every state in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Before you do your Thanksgiving grocery shopping, head over to spork.com for the rankings of the best Thanksgiving sides you can buy.